What's this about? Eddie's World is finally doing a My Hero Academia Akedo Warrior. I've been subscribed to Eddie's World forever. What reason do you have to not be subscribed? I'm not subscribed. What? What's up everyone? Welcome back to Eddie's World. In today's video, I'm going to be making a custom Akedo Warrior that I was supposed to make last year before our Japan trip. I was planning on using the figure in our Battles in Japan video. He would have been so perfect. I'm definitely bringing him when we go back. The figure I'm talking about is Bakugo Katsuki from My Hero Academia. For today's build, I'll be using this 3 inch figure, a domes figure, and a series 3 favorite of mine, Max Snapper, who I have a lot of. Guys, I have a confession to make. Not only do I have no idea who Bakugo Katsuki is, I've never even seen My Hero Academia. What is it? Is it a movie? TV series? All I have are questions. So not only do I have to start working on the figure, I got a bunch of research to do. Luckily, I planned this out a long time ago, so I have everything I need to begin the build. As usual, I'll be starting off with the head swap. For some reason, Bakugo has butterfly wings sticking out the back of his head and I want to make sure they're not going to interfere with the split strike. I'm about to grind this figure down, so as always, I'll be using a respirator and eye protection. I'm going to have to use a straw to elevate Bakugo's head or it just isn't going to look right. This is a technique that I've used a few times before, so it's not a problem. Huh. That looks good. He splits properly and I learned some things about Bakugo. He's hot-headed, extremely competitive, and he doesn't exactly follow the rules. I kind of like this guy. I'm the real deal. I'm going to strip everything I need off both these figures, then decide what pieces to use later. I chose Max Snapper for his punching arm, but his body isn't exactly a perfect match. So before we start attaching parts, we got a bunch of grinding to do. Halfway through grinding the bell bottoms off, a brilliant idea popped into my head. Why not just change them with more suitable legs? I gotta have something that works in the parts jar. Toxinator's military style pants are a perfect match. For the punching fist, I'll be using a really big grenade. And I'm hoping to attach it in such a way that it can still slide back and forth. I have to admit, when I first saw Bakugo, I thought he looked a little ridiculous. But now that I know more about him, I think he's pretty cool. It turns out that the grenades on his fist are actually canisters that store his sweat, making it easier for him to use his quirk, explosions. I can't believe I got it to work, and I can already tell, this guy is going to be a champion one day. You'll never beat me. For his left hand, I'll be using the smaller domes figure grenade, and as strange as it may look, I definitely think it was the right choice.
The last thing I need to do before paint is patch a few areas with some epoxy clay. By now, you guys all know, I love this stuff and I've used it enough to give you guys a few pointers. First, always use gloves. This is epoxy. It says it right in its name. It's super sticky and you don't want it on your skin. Second, you see how I'm only putting one hand in each container? That's so there's no cross contamination. Third, only mix what you plan on using. This stuff isn't cheap. And fourth, set yourself up with a good set of sculpting tools and a jar of water. The water prevents the clay from sticking to your tools. Everything is looking really good. I just noticed Bakugo has grenades on his belt and I remember having some small Lego grenades. If I can find them, it'll be an easy upgrade for our figure. There's one and two. It took a lot of time to find these little things, but I just know it's gonna pay off. With Bakugo's collar, knee pads, and punching fist being so over-exaggerated, I think these grenades are just clutter, and I don't think I'm gonna use them after all. You're kidding me, right? What do you guys think? And who else from My Hero Academia should I make? I started out this build knowing nothing about Bakugo, but now he's one of my favorite customs. Not only does he look good, but he's so much fun to play. In the hands of the right operator, I can't see this guy losing. And now for the real test. Bakugo Katsuki, versus the always dangerous Max Snapper with his crocodile punching fist. Let's see how it compares to mine. That was just a little sneak peek guys the full battle test with Eddie and Clark will be way more intense. You know what I'm talking about. Thank you everyone so much for watching. If you want to see a custom Deku, All Might, or someone else, just let me know in the comments and it just might be our next video.